Mr. Horgan's disclaimer. The opinions expressed toward contestants on The Price is Right in their decision-making and pricing inc. that can be categorized as either stupid or misleading by the audience, plus showing favoritism specifically toward attractive females, is portrayed as a heel characteristic for entertainment purposes only. In actuality, no prejudice is shown toward the contestant based on their sex, their ethnicity, and their intelligence. And now it's time for the Price is Right pricing game recap for Friday, October 21st, 2011. Today's pricing games played were the following to end the week. Money game, one wrong price, grocery game, pick a number, punch a bunch, and that's too much! The first contestant was Holly. She played money game for a Scion TC model by Austin Amber. She revealed the middle number to be five. Holly first chose 19 behind it, dollar sign. Her second pick was 18 behind it, dollar sign again. She was up to $37. Then she chose 20 behind it, front of the car, obviously. Now on to her fourth pick, she chose 94 behind it, dollar sign. She was now up to a grand total of $131. She was down to her last chance. She chose 40. And behind 40 was... a dollar sign. She won $171. The back of the car was behind 63. 20,563, the actual retail price. However, the $171 will mark as a consolation win. Charlene played one wrong price for a cherry red washer and dryer modeled by Gorgeous Gwendolyn, a 27-inch Mac Pro computer with an all-in-one printer modeled by Amber, and an 8-foot Chandler 2 pool table from Moscone modeled by Marvelous Manuela. Charlene believed the one wrong price went to the washer and dryer at $27.68 and not the computer at $3,618 or the pool table at $2,175. The audience didn't like that choice, neither did I. Gwendolyn revealed the price to be... 2768 I knew that was right. Should have chose that pool table. It was not 2175 it was 1300 By the way, I knew that computer was right as well on that price of 3618 James played grocery game for a MyBathUSA.com Rainforest 78 steam shower modeled by Gwendolyn, valued at $5,327. The product of, the theme of the products for today all involved the word mini. First off, James bought two Kellogg's Frosted Mini Wheat cereals. One box of that Mini Wheat went for $4.19. Two of them told $8.38. He now had to spend between $11.62 and $12.62 to win. Next, he bought six Chef Boyard mini raviolis. One can of the mini ravioli went for $1.49. Six of them told $8.94, bringing him a grand total at this point of $17.32. He now needed to spend $2.68 and $3.68 between to win. He bought one bag of the Snyder's of Hanover Mini Pretzels. One bag went for $2.99, and that brought him a grand total to go along with $17.32, $20.31, and he won. By the way, Manuel was in charge of the cashier. Laura played Pick a Number for a Skidoo Renegade Sports Snowmobile, ridden by Manuel. Out of the four numbers in the price, the first number was missing. Laura chose the 8 instead of the 6 of the 7 to make the price $8,799. Amber placed the 8 in the first spot. And when Drew revealed what the missing number was, it turned out to be... A 6! That was my second guess. Laura did look a little bit like Jen Ledger from Skillet, so rock on there. Jacqueline played Punch-A-Bunch for a chance to win up to $25,000. Amber was in charge of holding the big novelty check. Alright, 
First off, in her first chance of winning a punch, she believed that the stainless steel fondue set was priced higher than $179. Gwendolyn, who was in charge of modeling the prices and revealing the prices, revealed that it was lower, $150. I knew that one. Next was a three-piece tea set. Jacqueline believed it was priced higher than $39. And Gwendolyn revealed it to be higher. It was $66. That one was easy. Next was an automatic ice cream machine. Priced at $31. Jacqueline believed it was higher. Gwendolyn revealed the price to be $50. It was higher. And finally, there was a sweet three-speed blender priced at $15. Jacqueline believed that was priced higher. Gwendolyn revealed it to be higher, of course, $22. So she won three punches. Jacqueline's first punch contained $1,000. She decided to throw that away, and in the second punch she got $500. She decided to throw that away, too. So now she was down to her last punch, and inside was... $100. That's the new lowest price on the punch board. Nothing lower than 100 No more 50s. However, that $100 is a consolation win. Finally, Stacy played That's Too Much for a Ford F-150 style side regular cab modeled by Manuela. She said the three words on the seventh price, 22160 Should have went one more time. Oh! We didn't get a good chip, good look at that eighth price, but I think it was twenty three thousand three ninety five. The actual retail price revealed by Ben Wela twenty three thousand three ninety. By the way, if I made a mistake on that eighth price, I'm sure NBC Eleven News Clips will inform me about that. In the meantime, well, one price in game one to end the week. That was grocery game. And we gave away $271. $171 won in money game, and $100 in punch a bunch. James is the MVP of the Price is Right. Contestant recognition goes out to Holly and Jacqueline and Laura, because she won her showcase involving a pair of Kawasaki Ninja 650R motorcycles. Pretty neat. This week's sponsor for the Price is Right Price Game Recap was from Fig Newtons. Chewy cookies made with real fruit. And now on to the sponsor spoiler. Next week, the Price is Right Price Game Recap will be sponsored by... Lucky Super Soft Instant Pan Sanitizer. Well, that does it for another week of the Price Game Recap by me, Mr. By me, Mr. Horgan. Excuse me. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you Monday.